if you really want faster internet, you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi router has OFDMA. What on earth is that? Well, let me show you what you need to know. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. This is a Wi-Fi router and this is a Wi-Fi router. The big difference between the two is that this one is Wi-Fi 5 and this one is Wi-Fi 6. So this is the Wi-Fi 6 router from Rockspace. It's the AX1800 and they sent it to me as I wanted to understand, is there really a big difference between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6? Does Wi-Fi 6 really give you that faster connectivity and therefore faster internet? Now, a quick note before we get going, the usual disclaimer. You can never get faster internet speed than you pay for. If you pay for 50 megabits per second, that is what you're gonna get. The most is 50. No hack or magical trick is gonna get you 100. Okay, with that out the way, can we just take a second and appreciate how epic this router looks? And it's got USB-C 3. In. And as you know from a previous video that I did, there's a link in the description below, you can do a whole bunch of things with your USB 3. It's also got a bunch of network ports and of course a WAN port to connect this to your modem. Now, this is a quad core processor, which basically means it can handle multiple instructions from multiple devices all at the same time, which means better speeds on your network. Now, this router acts like every other router, so what's the big deal? So the big deal is that this router has Wi-Fi 6, and Wi-Fi 6 has been greatly improved over Wi-Fi 5. Amongst the many changes to Wi-Fi, there's something called OFDMA, and that is a super big deal. Now, OFDMA makes communication with each device on your network much more efficient. With more efficiency comes better data throughput, which means better speed. So let me show you what I mean. Now, let's take a typical home situation. You have your router and you have many devices that's connected to it. Some devices just need a little bit of data whilst others need a lot. Now, we understand that streaming Netflix in 4K on a smart TV has vastly different bandwidth requirements than say your phone scrolling through your Instagram feed. With Wi-Fi 5, the Wi-Fi router treats all devices the same. The router or access point talks to each device one at a time. It gives its entire attention, its entire channel to that one device. And only when that one device has finished communicating will it then turn to the next device. In the meantime, the other devices just have to kind of wait for that conversation to be over for their turn. So think of a channel as a highway with lots of lanes that keep the traffic flowing. Whilst this works well, imagine being a car waiting to get onto the highway, but that highway is closed because there is a single other car on that freeway. That's just weird and ridiculously inefficient. Why does a single car need the entire highway anyway? Now, this is what's happening on your current Wi-Fi. You may not even notice this as your home network typically has a handful of devices and the Wi-Fi router is programmed to open and close that highway really quickly, focuses its attention on the one device, then the next, then the next, then the next. But you know what? Things have changed. Our homes have way more Wi-Fi connected devices beyond just a couple of phones and a laptop. You now have smart TVs, smart doorbells, security cameras, smart robotic vacuum cleaners, and a whole host of IoT devices. The more you add onto your network, the more it starts to take strain, and therefore your Wi-Fi router has to constantly dedicate an entire channel to one device at a time, and the rest just wait, <clears throat> have to wait. The result is a pretty slow network. This is where Wi-Fi 6 comes in and OFDMA pff, makes a huge difference. You see, with Wi-Fi 6, the Wi-Fi router can now talk to multiple devices all at the same time. The highway is open for everyone. OFDMA now manages the channel and allocates bits of that highway to each device depending on a requirement. So 4K streaming will get much more of the channel than say your Instagram updates or your smart doorbell which basically means no more waiting. Not only can the Wi-Fi router control the data to the device, it can also control the data coming from the device. Again, optimizing the speed of communication. 
So let me show you this. This is the new stunning Samsung S20 Ultra 5G, which is, has Wi-Fi 6E. This is the Google Pixel 5, which has Wi-Fi 5. I'm going to test the Wi-Fi speed and look at the link speed capability when I connect to the Wi-Fi 5 router, then switch it out to the Wi-Fi 6 router. I'm going to test the speed right next to the router and then from far away, because basically that's how our homes are typically situated. Whilst all this is happening, I have a 4K movie playing. I have 4K streaming from my security cameras open on a tablet. I have the PlayStation 4 doing yet another 30 gig update. And there's a group video FaceTime conference thing happening whilst my kids are playing Among Us. So pretty hectic usage of the network and let's see what happens. Okay, let's kick this off with the Wi-Fi 5 test. So on the left hand side, the Samsung S21 5G Ultra. On the right hand side, the Google Pixel 5. And you can see 866 megabits per second on both devices, standing really, really close to the router, nice and stable. Okay, that's what I would kind of expect with Wi-Fi 5. Let's see if Wi-Fi 6 makes a difference. And there we go. Wi-Fi 6 is plugged in. It's the Rockspace AX 1800. Let's look at the Google Pixel 5. It still connects 650 megabits per second, but look at the Samsung 1200 megabits per second just connecting to the Wi-Fi 6 very very close now that the close test is out of the way let's head on outside okay let's do the far test this is now connecting to the Wi-Fi 5 I've gone all the way outside to where my trampoline is again on the left hand side 130 megabits per second on the Samsung phone and 104 megabits per second on the Google Pixel connecting to Wi-Fi 5 let's change it up to wi-fi 6 and take the same walk okay wi-fi 6 connected i'm heading outside one more time back to the trampoline and let's see what the results are left hand side samsung connecting at 1020 megabits per second whilst the google pixel is connecting at 6 megabits per second to wi-fi 6. Ta-da! So in this simple test, you can clearly see how Wi-Fi 6 router just handles the data that much better and therefore provides me that faster connectivity. So if you're struggling with your Wi-Fi speed, look for a Wi-Fi 6 router or a Wi-Fi 6E router. As more phones and other devices come with Wi-Fi 6 built in, you know you're going to be good for quite a while. And yes, to answer your question, Wi-Fi 5 devices can still connect to Wi-Fi 6, so you're good to go. Check out more Wi-Fi tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.